I feel really fucking positive of the direction of where this is going. So, uh, that's that. That's that pivot detail that I wanted to get into uh, before this announcement. And I'm pretty fucking excited about it. Uh, so stick around until the end for some explanation. Some old uh, followers of mine might need an explanation. Some new followers of mine might need an explanation. I'm going to give it to you. Uh, coming up in about 26 seconds. If you're listening on Spotify, you're just going to have to wait about 26 seconds. What the hell? Everything! Uh, yes, I am bringing uh, the Metallicathon to YouTube. Uh, I know there's gonna there's people that are going to probably need an explanation. How the fuck are you gonna bring it to YouTube? Uh, just like how I'm doing now, uh, except with a lot more cool shit and flair. Uh, I hate to even say flair, you know. But here's the thing: I think there's a lot of people, including myself, because. There, uh, it took me a while to kind of convince myself that I could do this on YouTube. I did it on the radio 11 years in a row. And I obviously left the radio in 2019. Well, not 2019, but pretty close. And I haven't done it since. Obviously, I haven't been on the radio. And when I first started on the radio station, the first time I did it, the album Death Magnetic was coming out. And I'm a fucking Metallica nerd. And I somehow convinced management to let me do a 12-hour Metallicathon where I played the new album in full at some point during it. And it was an overnight thing. And for the next 10 years, including a full proper 26.2 marathon, 26.2 hour marathon, live, 12 hours. And it was one of my favorite fucking things. And a lot of people fucking loved it, man. So when I left the radio, it wasn't even a, like a thought. That uh, why would I do a Metallica on the that wasn't on the radio, <laughs> you know? But with the news of the new album dropped, my brain got kicking when the new album news uh, uh, dropped for uh, seventy two seasons out April fourteenth. I was like, God, it would be really fun to just do a Metallica then. But even then, a couple weeks ago, even I was just like, I don't know if I can do it. It's just it's going to be stupid. Why would anybody fucking tune that in? But then I'm like. You could say the same thing about the radio. <laughs> Why would anybody tune into Metallicathon when you can hear it? All those songs, when you could just tune in the same thing on YouTube. You know what I mean? You can absolutely, and I can absolutely pull this off, man. It's, you know, like the radio, Metallica allows you to use their music. They get paid for it. That's how it works. It's similar to the radio. And I'm like, you know what? I can really fucking pimp this thing out. And I can really do some cool, like, video cuts of a song and just add some aspects to it that I couldn't do on the fucking radio. Plus the uncensored aspect of it, you know? So, yeah, man. Saturday. No, not Saturday. That seems like the natural day of the week, but the album drops on a Friday. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Including a full live album reaction. Uh, which means I'm telling myself this and you right now, I'm saying that I, I am not going to listen to any more singles that get released from that album, 72 seasons. And if you know me even a little bit, you know, that's going to be really fucking hard to do. <laughs> I want to save it all for the album reaction. And, uh, I am actually really fucking excited for this man. My brain has been going and I honestly, I needed this creative little spark. I thrive on being creative, man. If I'm not, I feel stuck. If I'm uh, not doing a project, I just feel like I'm, I'm missing out. You know, I want to do creative fucking cool things. So the answer is yes, I can and will. I'm like the 2022 Detroit Lions. This is uh, the year that I can and will do a fucking Metallicathon on YouTube, man. And uh, that is going to be fucking awesome. Logistically speaking, I'm trying to think of like, you know, because I did a test, 
you know, I know Metallica allows it, but I did like an hour long test and it turned up totally, you know, just in case you wonder how it works, how you can get away with playing music for like reaction videos on YouTube. You know, you essentially when you upload it, it tells you ahead of time if you're going to, if the, if the band or the management or whomever, uh, the record label allows that music to be used. Uh, so it's just like, I, I, I tested it out for an hour and it was totally good. Copyright free, <laughs> you know, not copyright free, but you get what I'm saying. You don't get nailed for it necessarily. And I'm like, there you go. I could fucking do this shit, man. So, uh, that's happening. And I am really, really doggone excited to bring the 12th annual just a few years later what was the last year i did it 2019 was the last year i did it i want to say used to do it at the beginning of the month january every year and uh uh i am so excited to do this so any old radio listeners tune it in you know, guess what? I'm not sure a lot of people know how YouTube works necessarily. There's probably a lot of people that it's still foreign idea to, but you can turn it on. You can even, on my phone anyway, you can even minimize the app out and it still plays the video. Turn your Bluetooth on. You can even listen to it while you're fucking driving, man. So, you know, uh, keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. It gets some new people. It gets some old people kind of like it. Old people, people that have been following me for a while. And uh, I, I, I really want to do it for no other reason than I fucking love Metallica. I, it feels weird that I've like made a semi uh, small name for myself in the region of Northern Michigan, you know, with Metallica. And I remember when I tell the story all the time about, you know, when I was a kid and I was a kind of a troubled youth and Metallica was one of those bands that got me through. They were that band that got me through. But it's like the classic parent uh, response to a troubled kid that listens to Metallica all the time. My dad's famous quote is that goddamn Metallica you listen to. And I kind of turned the tables on it, you know, and made a fucking career out of just like my passion for Metallica. It was, there was way more than that, but uh, it that kind of how it started, you know, and I just kind of maintained that. And I'm like, why should I stop? You know, I was telling a friend of mine today, I was kind of picking some brains about it, you know, and the overall response is, yeah, you should do it. And I'm just like, <laughs> I think I was just saying something along the lines of, look, I tried to talk myself out of it forever. And the matter, the fact of the matter is, is I can absolutely do it here. I have a passion for it. So I'm fucking doing it, man. Metallicathon, April 14th, Friday, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a live full album reaction to uh, the new album, 72 Seasons. And I am fucking stoked for it, man. <sighs> Everything!